Hello, and welcome to Frontline Teach. My name is Val Sol, I'm the instructor, and I'm pleased to bring you the first lesson, which is called, What is HIV? What is AIDS? On the first question, what is HIV? It stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. Immunodeficiency is a long word. This part of it means immuno, or coming from the immune system, and deficiency means a lack or a loss of, so it's a loss of immune function. And virus indicates that we know the pathogen, we know the bug that causes HIV, it's been identified. But it's a lot more than what it stands for. What else is HIV? Now, as this is an online course, we're going to be making our list online. I have some examples here of what previous classes have told me in answer to the question, what else is HIV? So we're going to go through some of these. So HIV for a lot of people means sickness, for a lot of people means stigma or the sense of being marked out as different uh, than other people because of HIV. It really means medications to a lot of people, and HIV can be really hard to discuss. You know, when we're talking about HIV, we got to talk about sex and we got to talk about drugs, but not everybody is there, so it can be very hard to discuss. Now, HIV for some folks that I've talked to really serves as a wake up call for them. Getting the HIV diagnosis puts them on a whole different path. Um, and things become important to them that weren't before. Uh, so just keep that in mind. The question marks here means that obviously our list isn't complete and it won't be until we all get together as a list in the exercise called what is HIV, what is AIDS and make our list as a class. The next slide says what is AIDS. Obviously this is what it stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Uh, syndrome here means a group of symptoms that not everybody has the same symptoms. We'll talk about that more in the future. So that's what it stands for, but what else is it? Uh, again, it, for most people it's very serious uh, and uh, for a lot of people it indicates death, although we'll see time and again in this class that that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, an AIDS diagnosis is not a death sentence. Um, it means for people aches and pains. Again, it can be very hard to discuss, but an AIDS diagnosis also helps give people access to benefits and that can be a really important piece of uh, the what else is AIDS. Uh, again, be thinking of what you would add to these lists. This is the medical definition of AIDS. So AIDS is diagnosed if someone first has HIV in their blood and then if they've ever had one of the three following conditions. One, a CD4 count below 200. Two, a CD4 percentage below 15% or a diagnosis of an opportunistic infection or an OI from the CDC list. We're going to go into all of these things in more detail in the future. Uh, you should know for now that this definition was last revised in 1993. At that time, it gave more women AIDS. It included opportunistic infections that men aren't likely to get, but women are. And before 1993, a lot of women were having opportunistic infections, but they couldn't qualify for housing because they didn't technically have AIDS. Uh, they had invasive cervical cancer, which wasn't on the CDC list until this revision. Uh, so the AIDS definition is a medical definition, definitely. Uh, and the fact that it's linked to benefits also makes it an economic condition. The fact that it's links, linked to benefits also makes it a political condition. It has to do with the government um, deciding to respond or not to respond to, uh, to people living with HIV and AIDS. None of us live in a vacuum and the AIDS definition is a social one. Uh, and the AIDS definition is definitely emotional. Uh, for, you know, for many people it brings up strong emotions. At the current moment, the AIDS definition is a lifelong one. And once that mark is checked on your medical record, it's never unchecked. That might change in the future, but that's where it is right now. The AIDS definition is not simple. 
it's not a death sentence. It's not a guarantee of ill health, and just because someone has been diagnosed with AIDS doesn't mean they feel bad. It means they have an, a diagnosis, uh, and it's not the same for all people. So the next thing I want you to do is the exercise in Moodle called What is HIV? What is AIDS? And we'll explore this more in the future. Talk to you then.